Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best summer shoes ever, Crocs. Just so you all know, this video is not sponsored by Crocs. I have no affiliation with them. The following is my honest opinion of what I think of these shoes. Now let's start off by taking a look at the specifications and materials of these shoes. Now as far as what these shoes are made from, the website doesn't give anything specifically for these shoes, but it gives you an overall summary of what all their shoes are made out of or could be made from. There's other components that may be added. Most of their shoes are made from cross light. It's a closed cell resin material. It's designed for maximum cushioning and it makes the shoes odor resistant, lightweight, and buoyant. I just want to add in something here real quick about the cross light and how well it actually works for the buoyancy part. Over the weekend we went on a creek walk with some of the guys from church and there was a couple spots in the creek where the mud was really sticky and it happened to me twice. I stepped in it and I picked up my foot and I thought, oh, my shoe is gone. But then I'd turn around and look and it would pop up to the surface right behind me in a couple of seconds. So it is really buoyant and it does seem to work really well as far as the buoyancy part. Now that we have an overall idea of what these shoes are made from, let's get into the list of pros and the reasons why I like these shoes. The first thing I like about these shoes is that they're really, really comfortable. They're super comfortable and I can wear them all the time and my feet don't hurt. Another really great thing about these shoes and another thing that I like about them is that they're super minimalistic and simple. There's not a whole lot to them. There's just the band and then the rest of the shoe and it's pretty much all one piece which is really nice. Super simple and minimalistic is another pro of these shoes. Now another really nice feature about these shoes and one of the things that I like about the most next to the comfort kind of ties into the simplicity part is that they're really nice. You can just slip them on and you're ready to go. I wear these all the time, especially when I'm in a hurry to get somewhere and I need something comfortable. I even wear them in the winter time some when I need to do something quick like take out the trash. So they're really great for another thing because they are super simple and that means you can just slip them on and go somewhere in a hurry, which is really, really nice. I would guess that I've walked probably close to 100 miles in this pair of shoes, maybe more, maybe just a little bit less. I do have another pair that I'm gonna show you here in a minute that has definitely seen hundreds of miles, and um, they're an interesting sight, so stay tuned for those. But overall, these have held up and wore really, really well, and I like them a lot. Now let's take a look at a couple of very small downsides to these shoes. All right, so one of the very small cons about these shoes is that there isn't a whole lot to them. It's basically just foam or cross light or whatever they make them out of. So if you need arch supports or anything like that, these aren't really gonna support your feet long-term. So that's just something to be aware of. It's also a small downside if you need arch supports or anything like that, just because there isn't a whole lot to these shoes. The second very small con or downside to these shoes, which is also sort of a positive, is that they don't last forever, but they kind of do at the same time. This is a pair of Crocs that we've had for over five years now, closer to 10. They're still wearable, but one of them has a huge hole in the big toe spot on the one side, and it's also missing the strap as well as some other things and these are starting to get super super thin on this side and you can see a little hole starting to form right there but they're still wearable and you know what they've been to so many places and been on so many adventures and they still live to tell about it now crocs makes a variety of different styles of shoes you can check them all out on their website if you want again this is not a paid endorsement this is just my honest opinion of the shoes they have all kinds of different styles these ones here are the Croc Bands in navy. These do come in 11 different colors, so let's take a look at those now. The Croc Bands are available in 11 different colors. Black, Charcoal Ocean, White, Navy, Pepper, White, 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 Bright Cobalt Charcoal, Pink Lemonade White, Deep Green White, Digital Aqua, and Viola. They're also available in sizes for men as well as women and I believe kids also. So if you want some of these for the whole entire family to match, 
you can do that as well. The croc bands that I have here range in price from $40 to $50 depending on the time and place that you buy them as well as the size and color. All those things have a factor on the price so that is something to keep in mind when you buy. Now despite the few small downsides to these shoes, these are really great, super super comfortable. I wear mine all the time and they are just really nice. I would recommend them to you 100%. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video taking a look at the Croc, Croc Band clogs. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, smash that like button 2021 style, and let us know in the comments down below if you have a pair of Crocs, what you think of them, and all that great stuff. If you've not done so already, please consider clicking subscribe. We try and make a new video every week, and while you're down there subscribing, be sure to ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we release another video. That is it. As always, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.